stopping by my channel. Today I have a fresh batch of empties to share with you. Things I've used up over the past month and a half, I would say. So I'm just going to get right into it. So the most exciting thing for me personally that I have finished up is my Urban Decay Primer Potion. I have had this sucker for like way too long. It's gross. It's probably expired. Yuck. There's probably a couple more uses in here, but it was just starting to spit out oil and I was like, I think you and me were done now. I believe this came with one of the first Urban Decay palettes I ever bought, which was either like the ammo palette before they reformulated it or maybe the original Naked. So I did enjoy this, but then I tried the Nars primer and also the Lorac primer that came with the Pro palette and I realized that this one, in comparison to those, makes my eyelids a little bit greasy. So if I were to repurchase a higher end primer, it would probably be one of those and not this one. I know some people like this and that's great. It's not bad, it's just not my favorite. So. So I did finish up two more bottles of the coconut uh, conditioner and shampoo from Desert Essence. I really like this stuff. It's light, it's not heavy, it doesn't weigh my hair down. I've mentioned this before, but my friend Melanie who has, um, she describes her hair as being finer and she does not like it. So if you've got like fine hair or maybe thin hair, you might not like this, but I really do like this. I feel like it makes my hair just a little bit shinier and healthier. And it's got really good ingredients. It's certified organic, it's cruelty free. There's no parabens, uh, sulfates, phthalates, artificial colors, silicones, all that kind of stuff. No petroleum based ingredients. This is gentle enough that when my kids ran out of their baby shampoo and I didn't have anything, I used it on them and it was fine so it didn't like irritate them or anything. So if you're looking for some hair products that are certified organic and have some nice ingredients, these are definitely uh, worth a shot I think. And they smell really nice too, they smell like coconut. So I really like these and I have already repurchased them. I have three packages of makeup wipes. I feel like I go through so many makeup wipes. I use them to wipe my makeup off at night and then I also use them to, ooh, there's like hair stuff to these. These are my all time favorite face wipes. I love them, uh, they just sell out at the drugstore that I buy them at. So I often have to go for other brands, but these are my favorite. They're moist, they're not too moist. You can exfoliate a little, but they're not super rough. Um, I really, really like them. My second favorite face wipes would be the Simple Cleansing Facial Wipes. I really like these. They're nice and moist. They take your makeup off. They're not too rough. They don't have an appalling smell or anything like that. And they don't irritate my skin. I've had misses, hits and misses with this brand, but this is um, really good. I did also try the exfoliating wipes from this brand. And I have to say I like just the plain cleansing ones the best. I find the exfoliating ones a little too rough for my liking, but anyway, these ones are good and I will continue to repurchase these. Then I also tried the Pond's Cleansing Exfoliating Towelettes, and this is in the scent Citrus and Cucumber. I think I just have learned my lesson and I shouldn't buy face wipes that have any sort of a scent because I tend not to like them. I feel like it lingers and my face smells funny. I don't want no funny smelling face. I didn't not just like the smell of these, I also found them suddy. Like, they really set it up and I found them a little bit sticky and even when I decided I didn't like them for my face, I decided just to use them to wipe off swatches on my hands and they still like after I wiped them off I felt like I needed to go wash my hands because they left like a residue and so yeah, these were a miss for me, I would not repurchase these ones. I finished my Josie Marin 100% Pure Argan Oil, I love this, I seriously believe this is a gift from the heavens, it has made my face so much better. I mean, I was dealing with a lot of oil issues after I had my daughter, well, from the time I got pregnant with her until like six months postpartum, and this stuff has really, really helped. It tricks your skin into thinking there's enough oil there so it doesn't overproduce. Um, I already purchased this again. This is just a small bottle. And if you're scared, if you're like, my skin's really oily and I don't want to put more oil on it, there is a light version of this too. I have a sample that I got from Sephora. I haven't tried it yet. It just came like with a purchase. I do still use my Tarte Maracuja eye cream at night, but other than that, this is the only moisturizer I put on my face. I love it. I am done with facial creams. This is amazing. If I haven't sung its praises enough. I love it. Then I finished up the Burt's Bees Peach and Willow Bark Deep Pore Scrub. I really like this stuff. I use my Bosha cleanser um, like every day just as a deep cleanser and but on days that I want to exfoliate which is usually like every other day I do use this I really like it it's got a nice light peach smell I really enjoy it and the particles like the exfoliates I don't know if you can see that the exfoliators in here are really fine so they don't scratch up your skin they're gentle but I feel like they do a nice job and there's some good ingredients in here too 
It's free of parabens and all that kind of nastiness. No sulfates, parabens, phthalates, or petrochemicals, so that's nice. And you can get it at the drugstore for around $10, and I have already repurchased this. I really like it. I finished up this bottle of sweet almond oil. I really like this stuff. Uh, if you watched my last DIY Friday, I did a uh, oil diffuser, <laughs> which is back there. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, anyway, it's, it's like an essential oil diffuser to diffuse some essential oil smells into my room and I'll link that video in the down bar but I used all of it to make those. I would repurchase this again though because it's a great carrier oil. There are a lot of uses for um, sweet almond oil. It's a good one. So I got this from Vitacost. I would definitely repurchase it. You can google like a million things to do with this stuff so I like it. Boring. I finished up a bottle nail polish remover. It's from the brand Equate. It's okay. I don't love it. I don't hate it. It was a reasonable price. I do like the Onyx one, I believe it's called. Yeah, I think it's called Onyx. I do like that one better. I feel like it's just easier to use. But, um, I mean, this is okay. It took a little extra scrubbing, but... me. Okay, I finished this little bottle of Jergens Natural Glow Firming Daily Moisturizer. Now, I had really mixed feelings about this because it does have parabens in it and I'm really trying to get away from parabens in my lotion, skincare, all that stuff. This is probably the only product I have used recently in my skincare routine that has parabens in it and I used it because I was using Self Tanner. This was like a month ago when we were in the, you know, dead of summer and I just wanted to maintain the tan on my legs and arms and it really did do the trick. I have medium to tan. My mom got this in some sort of like sample box she got in the mail and she gave it to me so I thought I'd give it a go and it did work. I probably wouldn't repurchase it just because I really am trying to stay clear of parabens but you know if you don't really care about that stuff this was this was pretty good. I have two mascaras. Uh, the first one is the Revlon Lash Potion Mascara. I talked about this in the favorites a while back. I really did like it. Um, it's pretty dried up now though. It's, the brush is pretty plush and thick. I did find though that this went kind of dry on me and kind of clumpy a little faster than some of my other mascaras. Um, but when it was in its prime, it works really well. And then I also uh, have gone through another tube of my Ame Get Up and Grow. I love this stuff. This is one of my all time, if not my absolute favorite drugstore mascaras. It's got a really nice plush brush and it just does the job. It lengthens, it defines, it darkens, it thickens. It really does a lot of good stuff. Sent me, and I'm already using another one that my friend Melanie or Mr. Kong's mom sent me in our swap. So this is good stuff. I would highly recommend it. Finally, in this batch of empties, I have my Maybelline Master Precise by Eye Studio pencil. Um, it's not a pencil. It's a felt tip marker. I have gone through so many of these. They were my holy grail for a very long time. I like a felt tip marker just to line my lash line every day. I've been using this for a long time. I really do like it, but recently I have discovered the Milani Eye Tech Extreme Liquid Eyeliner and this has outdone it. They're pretty similar except that I feel like this one, the end is just a little bit stiffer, whereas this one sometimes almost frays a little on the end and then you get some drag. Um, so I, I would, oops, wrong cap. Uh. So I'm gonna continue to buy this one. I feel like it's a little bit, more opaque as well. I really like this Milani Eye Tech Extreme Liquid Eyeliner, so this is gonna be the one that I continue to repurchase. I'm really sorry, Master Precise. We've had some good times together, but sometimes someone else comes along. So that is it for this batch of empties. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I would love to know your thoughts on any of the products that I was talking about, or if you've just got something to say. Go ahead. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch. Take care of each other, and I will see you all again very soon. Bye, guys.